Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. As we all know, in the early days of reform and opening up, China was still in its infancy in terms of science and technology. Many cutting-edge technologies such as satellite navigation, hand-shredded steel and C-type sealing rings relied on imports from European and American countries. This has also resulted in China being stuck by European and American countries. Neck, even in order to obtain more profits, these European and American countries have raised prices and made all kinds of taunts to China. According to relevant statistics, China spends more than 400 billion US dollars on chip imports every year. It can be said to be both realistic and helpless. However, as scientists work hard day and night on research and development, China's science and technology has also ushered in rapid development. Not only has it made frequent breakthroughs, it has also achieved bending in cutting-edge fields such as high-speed rail technology, hand-shredded steel, super-steel and shield machines. Overtaking on the road, and gradually became a technological power. In the field of chips, Huawei has also launched its self-developed Kirin Core, and since the Kirin 980, it has surpassed Qualcomm Snapdragon in terms of energy efficiency ratio and power consumption. At its peak, Huawei directly occupied nearly 56% of the domestic market. Continuously squeezing Qualcomm's domestic market share, it can be said to be very satisfying. However, Huawei's strong rise has also touched the core interests of American companies and shaken the hegemony of the United States in the field of science and technology. Therefore, it did not take long before it encountered U.S. sanctions. From the entity list to chip regulations, Huawei was beaten black and blue. Not only after three years of no core availability, even the 5G business and mobile phone business have been severely affected. In addition, in order to completely restrict the development of China's science and technology, the United States has successively included more than a thousand Chinese companies in the entity list. It has also joined forces with its allies to form the Quadruple Alliance and the 6G Alliance and has signed a tripartite agreement. Countless technology companies and supply chain companies have been severely damaged by this. But even so, Chinese companies such as Huawei did not choose to compromise, but perseveredly embarked on a path of 100% self-research. Thanks to unremitting efforts in research and development and heavy investment, in the end, the emperor paid off, and Huawei at the end of August, it also made a strong comeback with Kirin Core. The current global sales of the Mate 60 series have exceeded 30 million units, which can be said to have achieved its first breakout. Not only that, SMIC has now made major breakthroughs in the N plus 1 process, and Harbin Institute of Technology and Shanghai Microelectronics have made breakthroughs in core lithography machine technology which means that domestic cores and domestic lithography machines are gradually getting rid of their reliance on the United States. Rely In fact, China has also given strong counterattack to the United States' frequent sanctions on Chinese companies. For example, since last year, China has successively exported core raw materials for manufacturing semiconductors such as photovoltaic silicon wafers, rare earths, gallium and germanium. Restrictions, 
and Chinese companies are also reducing the import of chips. According to data, China has reduced its imported chips by about 160 billion from 2022 to 2023, almost all of which will be replaced by domestic chips. It is no exaggeration to say that once if this trend continues, semiconductor giants such as Qualcomm, Intel, NVIDIA and ASML will all face annihilation. In this regard, many semiconductor giants have begun to publicly express their positions, saying that China is an indispensable part of the global supply chain. If the United States continues to restrict the free export of semiconductors, it will inevitably lead to the decline of major companies in the future. Due to pressure from all parties, the United States has slowly relaxed its grip in recent years, not only allowing companies such as Samsung, Hynix and Qualcomm to continue operating in the Chinese market, but also recently transferred four companies, including Qingda Aerolite Electronics and Ningbo Dai Laser Technology, to Chinese companies have removed the entity list. According to statistics, the United States has removed more than 30 Chinese companies from the entity list. It can be said that it is equivalent to gradually lifting the ban. So is it possible that Huawei will be unbanned by the United States? The answer is obviously impossible. On the one hand, Huawei's Kirin Core has achieved its first breakout, and its mobile phone business is also recovering rapidly. Huawei's 5G has firmly occupied the world's number one position. On the other hand, Huawei has also successively released Xingting during this period. 910B and Kirin 8000 and other chips, and Huawei has also achieved outstanding results in new energy vehicles. Therefore, in this case, it is impossible for the United States to unban Huawei. Instead, it will increase its efforts to sanction Huawei. In this regard, many foreign media have said, it is ridiculous to want to unban Huawei. As the saying goes, the truth always exists within the range of cannonballs. Although outstanding technology companies such as Huawei are still being targeted by the United States, and China cannot continue to buy advanced process lithography machines from ASML, it has achieved the first from the moment breakthrough. The development trend of China's chips and lithography machines cannot be stopped by anyone. It is only a matter of time before China completely breaks the blockade. And once China makes another breakthrough in the manufacturing of high-end chips and lithography machines, it will surely rise like a rock. Please like if you agree.